Hey guys, what's up? Alan Wade here. Today we have our Silhouette Cameo 4 Plus and we have our 16 by 20, let's call this the Godzilla Press. From now on, anything larger than 15 by 15, we're gonna call a Godzilla Press. So we have our 12, I mean our 16 by 20 Godzilla Press right next to us. And one of the benefits of having a larger press is you can press on larger designs. So today we're gonna do something fun for Halloween because Halloween is tomorrow. And most of us are, uh, I guess, quarantining or social distancing, I would say. So you probably want to stay in the house and do something with your family or, or, or your loved ones or something like that or your close friends. So one of the things that you can do if you don't have a costume is why not just decorate a shirt? So I'm going to show you this cool design that I made up. Well, I didn't make it up, but um, I came up with a fun idea that I came up with to press onto the back of a shirt. But before we get started, Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. Also, share this video to other people that you think might be interested in it because it's something fun to do for the holidays, all right? So, let's jump into it. A-Dub Productions. All right, guys. To uh, start off, we are going to go to Vexels.com to get a design. Um, and today we're going to be putting wings on the back of a shirt, right? We're going to do the angel for, uh, for Halloween. So, you guys can search and find whatever you like on Vexels. Oh yeah, for those that don't know, Vexels is a website where you can download many different types of PNGs, PSDs, SVGs, different images that you can put onto shirts and you can just sell them royalty free. They have different pricing plans available. They have, uh, you can get billed monthly if you'd like to. They have a $9.99 plan, a $29 plan, an $89.99 plan. Um, but if you want to do it annually, the prices get a little cheaper. They have a $7.50, $7.50 billed annually, $22. Um, oh, that's a month. $7.50 per month, that's billed annually. $22 per month billed annually and $68 a month billed annually. All right, so let me just jump into the design that we're going to be doing today. The cool thing about Vexels is you can go to the top of the website, right? And in this case, I'm doing wings. So I'm just going to type in wings, enter, and boom. There are 792 wing graphics and designs available for you to choose from. So in this case, I'm just going to grab this one right here. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to download the PNG file. Boom. All right, and it asks me you know, the size that I want to download. I'm just going to pick this one right here and boom, there it is. Downloads and I have that file available at my disposal to do whatever I want to with guys. So uh, it's as easy as that. So I'm going to close out this browser. I'm going to launch Silhouette Studio. If I can find it, where is it? Silhouette Studio. And I'm using Silhouette Studio Business Edition, but you can do it. You can do this um, with any Silhouette Studio, I think, guys. So don't be discouraged if you have the basic edition or if you have the, um, what's the designer edition? You can do this with any one of them. Waiting for Silhouette Studio to launch. All right, Silhouette Studio is launched. First thing I'm gonna do in Silhouette Studio is I'm going to go to my page right here and I'm gonna select that I'm using the Cameo Plus, which is already selected. Cool. Um, all right, cutting mat, none. That's good. And my height for my page is set to the max. That was weird, look, at, look, look what it did right there. That was weird, anyway, the height is set to the max, which is good, and that's what I want. So I'm gonna go to the top right here, um, where I have my open folder. I'm gonna click on it, and I'm gonna find the thing that I just downloaded today in my downloads folder, which is where it went. Vexels, today is the 25th of October, no it's not, is it, is it? No, I just downloaded today. It should say today. Okay, today. There it is. Boom. Click on that. And there it is. There's my wings. All right, make that a little bit bigger right there. Got my wings. Looking good so far, guys. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace these wings because in Silhouette Studio, for those that don't know, you can bring in an uh, image, um, but it traces silhouettes, all right? So if you bring in an image that's complex and has a lot of colors, you gotta first trace the image and it's gonna give you outlines of each element. That's a whole nother story, guys. But anyway, this is what we're gonna do right here. We're gonna go over to the tracing tool. We're 
we're going to select trace area all the way around this all right everything is highlighted hit trace then we're going to remove and there we have our we're going to delete the picture and then we have our wings right here we're going to select the wings and we're going to go to our paint palette right here and then we're going to select the color that we want the wings which is black and there we have our wings guys which is cool i'm going to do a few more things to this i'm going to I double clicked on them and i'm going to simplify it to get rid of all those little jagged edges and points click simplify again click it one more time and we are good to go another thing i'm going to do okay they're grouped already uh, i'm going to turn this sideways because i want to take advantage of all this real estate that i got here I want to make sure it's exactly sideways. What I can do is I can kind of like line it up with the edge to make sure that it's flush, kind of even. That looks about good, a little bit crooked, but that, that's good enough. All right, and I can scale it up so I'm taking advantage of all this real estate right here that I have on the Silhouette Cameo. Now, um, my, my uh, no, yeah, my Silhouette Cameo and, as well as my heat press. Now. I have to keep in mind on my heat press, I can only press as wide as 16 inches. So this right here can't be any larger than 16 inches. So we got to shrink that down a little bit. All right. No, actually 20 inches. I got a 16 by 20 heat press. What am I talking about? Okay. So I can go all the way up to 20 inches. But before I do that, what I want to do is I want to grab a shirt grab a ruler and uh, see how large I want my wings to span across my back. So why don't we do that? Ladies and gentlemen, if it's your first time here, please take this moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you. We got our shirt. We're using a next level extra large shirt right here. And we have our handy dandy ruler, 24 inch ruler. So we're gonna turn to the back of our shirt right here. Turn to the back, and we are going to measure out how big we want our wings. Don't want them too big, don't want them too small. All right, so boom, got our ruler, and we want our wings to be about 16 by 20, keep in mind. We're gonna make them about 16 inches wide. 16 inch wide wings on the back of the shirt. Placement is going to be right here approximately for the top of the wing so about 16 we can get away with 17 but i'd say 16 inches all right so that's what we're going to do for the wings ada productions so now that we're back in silhouette studio we're going to resize our wings we're just going to select them and we're going to make them 16 inches in width paying attention to this number right here so Let's just shrink them down to 16 inches. A little bit more, a little bit bigger. 16. That's, I mean, we said 17 max, so we can make them 16 and a half, I guess. So that's about sufficient, right? So it's not gonna make a difference because of the, because they're wings, but I'm just gonna flip it horizontal anyway because that's what we're used to doing. And it's always good to get in the habit of flipping horizontal because the day that you don't flip horizontal will be the day that you mess things up. All right, so I'm gonna place my wings about right here and I'm going to get ready to send it. All right, we see everything is selected and looking good. Okay, so we have to get ready, get our Silhouette Cameo prepared. We are going to prepare our Silhouette Cameo 4 Plus just like it said in Silhouette Studio. Guys, if you haven't purchased your Silhouette Cameo 4 Plus yet, Use my heat transfer warehouse link in the description down below to purchase yours today. And if you are uncomfortable using heat transfer warehouse, you can use my Amazon affiliate link down in the description down below to purchase your Silhouette Cameo 4 Plus. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. It helps the channel out a lot. Thank you so much in advance. And for those of you guys that don't know or are interested, um, I'm using B-Flex. I'm using B-Flex -Flex Stretch for this shirt right here. This is B-Flex Stretch Vinyl. My, I also have a B-Flex link in the description below if you wanna buy any of this B-Flex Stretch. They have 
really, really great pricing on their vinyls, guys. So um, check it out. Also, uh, Heat Transport House sells vinyl also, so you guys can check that stuff out also. I've got plenty of links down in the description below for you. All right. So, boom, we got our Cameo all set up and ready for printing. Let's jump back over to Silhouette Studio and let's get ready to send this thing to print. A-Dub Productions. All right, so in Silhouette Studio, we have everything all set up, guys. Got our perfect uh, width and height for our material. It's all ready to go. The Cameo Plus is ready, so I'm just gonna press send and let the Cameo 4 Plus do its thing, guys. Really, really excited about this. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. How are we doing? This vinyl is acting a little weird here. All right, we're looking good. I don't know what that was about. Actually, you know what it was about? Sometimes, oh, I know exactly what it's about. All right, guys, lesson to you, right? Whenever you cut something from the back using the cutting feature on your Silhouette Cameo, make sure you open the back back up. That's what happened. The back of my Cameo was not opened up after using the cutting feature, so the vinyl was getting a little bit caught up. We make mistakes all the time, right? And I'm glad you guys saw that. Happens to the best of us. It happened to me just now. So uh, let me let the rest of this thing cut out and we'll be right back. Hopefully we didn't mess it up, but uh, it looks good, I don't know. I mean, worst come to worst, we'll just cut it again, right? Yeah, what are we gonna do? Ada Productions. All right, we have our design all cut out. And guys, I did have to cut it a second time, just so you know, because I always keep it funky with you guys. Sometimes mistakes will cause you to have to use more vinyl than you want to and then you need to. But it happens to the best of us, right? All right, so here's our wings. You can see the outline looking good. Uh, looks like it's gonna be a great, most enjoyable, most pleasing weed. All right, so we're gonna line it up on our cutting mat right here, our little, what, you, what do you call this thing? Amazon links in the description down below if you wanna buy one. This is a healing cutting mat, I think it's called. Self-healing cutting mat. But I love this thing because uh, it absorbs the pressure. I cut this a little crooked. It moved a little bit, but we're good. All right, yep, good to go with that. And like I said, guys, I got all types of links down below if you guys want to purchase any of this type of vinyl. And you guys will see why I like this B-Flex stretch in just a moment, guys. All right, now let's start weeding this. I will say that Heat Transfer Warehouse has a product that's similar to this, and the, the products are so similar, it's like, it's crazy. It's called um, Thermal Flex Stretch. And I can't make up my mind which one, which product I like the most. So I'll just alternate between the two. But I would recommend trying both of them, guys. Why not? If you're in the industry, you want to figure out what works best for you. But the thing I like about B-Flex is which why I'm telling you guys to buy it is because it presses onto the shirt so easily. And it doesn't take that much time to press on. All right, give me five B-Flex. You can press it on real easy. And it lasts long also. All right, I'm just fine tuning this, um, cutting out a little bit of access that, um, it'll just make it easier to weed if I just cut out some of this access right here. All right, and, e and also easier to press. Boom, boom, all right. Got these two little strips that I can use for something else. Always cover up your knife because you will play yourself, hurt yourself or something like that. All right, so now we're gonna start weeding from the corner right here. Get you guys up close and personal with it. Mmm, look at that, butter. Buttery smooth weed. Buttery smooth, like, like the butters of the Lake Minnesota. This is how stuff is supposed to weed. Nice and easy and smooth with no problems. 
I just feel bad because I'm wasting all this vinyl here in the middle, but it is what it is. We're making a video and we got to do what we got to do for the cause, but I hate wasting vinyl. And guys, let me show you what I'm talking about. See how stretchy this stuff is? This is very, very stretchy and very durable vinyl. I love it. Um, I, I can't tell you, to be honest with you guys, since I've been with Heat Trans Warehouse and the vinyl stand, I can't tell you the last time that I've used regular sizer. Um, so those of you guys that still use sizer Easy Weed, I'm not knocking you guys at all, but I will say Thermal Flex Stretch and B Flex, in my opinion, is better vinyl than regular sizer. Uh, hands down, hands down. Uh, we all start off with Sizer, Caesar, Caesar Easy Weed. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it, Caesar, right? And they're the industry leaders in this stuff. It seems like because you know they're widely available and they just have a bunch of variety. But yo, this other stuff is just durable. You know what? Thermal Flex Stretch might be a little bit more stretchy than this might be a little bit more stretchy but this still has give and it's still a dope vinyl to use i like it i like it a lot all right so let's check out the wings yeah man we got our wings right here looking good ready to press onto the shirt gonna have to press it sideways obviously um because we got our the press is 20 inches this way 16 inches this way i think we're a little bit over 16 inches but we'll see but the wings are looking good guys what do you guys think straight off of vexels didn't have to do any artwork or anything like that that's crazy this stuff is plug and play guys like look if you want to start a t-shirt business or if you want to make any extra side money you don't even have to be an artist these days the only thing you got to do is download the file trace it out cut it out and it's that easy so cut it out let's heat up our godzilla press and press this on to our shirt <laughs> what up dub nation please hit that like button so more a dub videos will be found in the youtube algorithm please do it now do it do it right now i'm waiting okay all right guys i'm just letting the heat press heat up 285 degrees Four seconds, I got it set to six seconds though. I'm just gonna let this thing heat up. That's one of the things I like about this B-Flex stuff is it presses on really fast. The fastest press in the industry, guys. We're heated up to about 236 degrees. I can get one little press out of here real fast just to get the air out and the wrinkles out and all that. What I like about the automatic press, boom, nice. All the wrinkles out. Now let's uh, line up our design. I'm not telling you guys what to do, but if you want some good results, and if you want to line it up right, just drop my design. Then lay it down on the table first. Lay it down on the table. Place your wings where you're going to place them and use some heat tape and, um, and tape your design exactly where you want it to be. So right now I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm going to see where I want my wings to go. All right. Maybe a little bit more on the shoulders. I'm going to put them about right here where the tips of them are on the shoulder blades. All right, make sure that shirt is straight. All right, line it up good. Put my tape on and press it. So now, guys, I got my design all laid out. And the reason why I'm using the tape is because I have this design and I don't want it to move anywhere um, when I press it. So. I am going to go ahead and put my pillow down on this because this design does have some seams and I want to make sure I get good pressure all over it. Even though my, my pillow is not um, as big on the design, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press it once here. I move the pillow over and press it once on the other side so I get good pressure um, because the vinyl, you know, it's, it's different variables um, and you have to take account the different uh, variables when you are doing stuff like this. So I'm going to press it a little bit over here and press it again for another six seconds over here just to make sure that everything is everything with this press. All right. Want to get a good press. All right. So we press that section right there and now we're going to bring it over here. 
the pillow over here because we have seams and all that stuff. So you want to make sure you account for all that, all that stuff. All right. Don't even think I even. I gotta do that again because it didn't, it didn't stop right. Sorry guys, I'm messing up. It's gonna happen sometimes. All right. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and peel the vinyl off. Get a little fan real fast. Peel this thing off. Looking good. And one good thing about B Flex, right? Is you can go ahead and you can press. You can press right on this stuff. So got my wings on the shirt. I'm gonna remove the pillow. And what's dope about this, like I said, is you can press right on it. Boom. Make sure it's flat, get all the wrinkles out the other side right here before I press right on it. Regular Caesar, you press on it and the vinyl's gonna come up, right? This stuff you can layer. You can actually layer right on the vinyl. I'm gonna press it for a few seconds to make sure everything is in. Four, three, two, one. And here we go. We are good to go, guys. Let me put this thing on and see how it looks. And just like that, we're celebrating Halloween with our angel wings on the back of our shirt. You can go grocery shopping and rock these even after the holidays. You can put something cool on the front if you want to, but mine is blank right now. Just want to show you guys this real fast. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Would this be a fun activity to do with your kids? Would your kids like this? Is this boring? Is this too, um, too plain? I like it. I think it's cool. Something real quick and easy that you guys can do to occupy your times while social distancing and kind of celebrating the holiday, okay? So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. All product links down below in the description. And subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, instagram.com backslash adub productions. Visit the merch store. Buy yourself some channel merch. Help support the channel. If you're into embroidery, got plenty of low cost, really, really cheap embroidery practice files on the website for you guys. Stick around. More videos coming soon. Like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy and I'm out. Peace. Turn up that, crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby? Sweet dance, sweet dance.